The Vietnam Center and Archive started in 1989, and the purpose was to actually provide resources for graduate students to study the Vietnam War here at Texas Tech. From that very modest beginning, we've grown into the largest archive of materials regarding the Vietnam War outside the National Archive System. And a really exciting and dynamic part of what we do is the Oral History Project. The purpose for that is, of course, to interview participants in the war. When we have the opportunity to capture these interviews, to capture these voices, you know, it is incumbent upon us to do so. And the meaning that that offers for family members especially, but certain for, certainly for future generations of researchers and scholars, it is vital that we get these while we still can. You know, one of the great things about oral history is you do get to listen to that, that participant, that veteran, tell their story in their own words. For researchers, that's important, but so isn't the speed of access. You know, one of the things, sitting down and listening, we've got interviews that go on for 20 hours. And so a lot of researchers don't have time to actually sit down and listen from the beginning to the end of an interview. And so transcriptions are critically important from a researcher perspective. The uh, transcription process is labor intensive. It eats up an awful lot of resources in terms of time and money. So we discovered this uh, program, Sonics AI, which is an artificial intelligence program. It's just a fraction of transcription time. So rather than 30 hours of transcription time, we're looking at 20 to 30 minutes of transcription time and can do so for a fraction of the cost. The funding for this would cover the, uh, well, obviously the expenses of uh, continuing to use Sonics AI. Obviously, any, uh, any dollar amount is, is certainly welcome and will be useful not just for us, but again, promoting the history of the war and helping, in my opinion, to honor the people who experienced it firsthand. For a giver today, I think it's a way of saying, you know, even though you, you won't be saying it directly to a veteran, but it is a way of saying thank you. Thank you for serving your nation when they called you to serve. And I think this is one way we can, each of us can participate and give in some small and modest way to say thank you so much for answering that call of service and serving your nation during war.